Is this stock a good buy? When you're looking to get started day trading, the best thing that you need to do in all actuality in terms of, you know, how do I start day trading? Or let me rephrase, how do I start day trading from a actual wise way, from a profitable mindset, if I wanna get consistent, is you need to understand this whole kind of sequence that goes into day trading and more specifically, putting together a trade plan. And this is why in all actuality, is this a good buy? You know, is this stock good to buy? It, should I hold this stock? Any sort of variation doesn't make any sense. Now on the surface, it does make sense because of course, I'm new to the market, I wanna day trade, I wanna surround myself with other people that have more experience. So by asking those people, hey, is this a good buy? Is this a good stock to day trade? Is this just a good stock to hold or what have you? That seems to make sense and it does make sense. But hey, welcome to the tricky world of day trading and of trading in general. And these are the little things that it helps make sense why. I mean, if you've seen the statistics, 90% of people fail. Some people say it's actually as high as 95%. And it's just little things like this that, I mean, that's why they fail because things that seem obvious are actually the exact opposite thing you should be doing. So how so? Well, again, where are we starting off? We're starting off with this right here. You know, goodbye, right? That's where you are starting off. And we're gonna work backwards on kind of why this is just not where you wanna be. So well, what does that mean? Well, if something is a good buy, the question is, well, is the risk worth the reward? So if you were to ask me, hey Clay, is this a good buy? I would tell you, well, is the risk worth the reward? And as somebody that's new, just getting started, as a day trader, that doesn't really mean anything to you, right? You're gonna, is the risk worth, I, 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 what does that even mean? And fair point, you're right. But I mean, that is still what makes something a good buy, right? Or, you know, a good entry point. Well, is the risk worth the reward? So again, because it's logical to say, well, I, I don't, I don't know, is the risk worth the reward? I don't know. Well, then let's go backwards some more. And then this is where you need to figure out, so how do you determine all of this? Well, this is where you need to figure out an entry price goes into this, a target price goes into this, an exit goes into this, and then you need to have some sort of management. What do I mean by management? Well, that's just you know trade management, right? Those are all the components of a trade. You gotta find the trade, you gotta enter the trade, you gotta manage the trade, you gotta know when to exit the trade. All that goes into it. And all that is actually gonna boil down to and tell you, is the risk worth the reward? Okay, well, well now this brings about the question, okay, Clay, well, I mean, how do you know what, the, you know, how do you know what any of this should be, right? I mean, I, I, I get it, I, I, I'm following things, but I, I, that still doesn't actually help me out that much. Because again, Clay, I'm just getting started. Right, so I, what, what's going on here? Okay, and that, that's a good question. You're, you're asking the right question. So the next thing becomes, well, you need data points, right? You need information that can tell you where entries, targets, you know, exits, management. You, you need data, right? You need information. That's what, I mean, that just goes across anything in life, right? If you're crossing a busy street, you need data points. You need information. What kind of data points? Well, oh, I see a big truck coming that way. I probably shouldn't cross right now given I have that piece of information. So in crossing the street, you get that information by what? By looking both ways, what we're all taught as kids. But in trading, okay, well, how do you get those data points? Well, again, another good question, a very logical question. And in the world of trading, this is what is called technical analysis, charts. So maybe you've seen things that almost look like the matrix out there. And you know, okay, oh, what, what is that? Those are technical charts. Full disclosure, am I saying that technical charts is the only way to get data points? It's not. But as a technical trader myself, as somebody that uses charts as a day trader, this is what I use for the source of my data points. And then way over here, what color haven't I used yet? There, no, I use green. There we go. Nate, am I still on the screen over here? Okay. Here is actually me. So here's you over here, right? Because you're the one asking about, well, is this a good buy? No, that's not a, that is you. That's, that's not a question mark, is that you? That is you. And then here I am way over here, and this is what separates us. But the biggest thing that separates everybody is this right here. Because when you formulate 
From this point, this is all gonna essentially tell you what your risk is. And which makes sense, right? Because you, you know, is the risk worth the reward? But there's another layer, and this is the layer that a lot of people aren't aware of, they don't tell you about, but it, it's really a savage thing out there. This risk is then gonna have the layer of personal risk. And here's the keywords here, personal risk tolerance. Meaning, what is your risk tolerance? The best way I can, and I always illustrate this, is some people, they have fun by going skydiving, by like snorkeling in underwater caves. Other people have fun by curling up next to a fire, reading a book. Is one per person right or wrong in how they have fun? Absolutely not. They're both having fun. But what, what's the underlying dynamic there about why each a skydiver versus let's just cuddle up by the fire and read a book? What's the difference there? Well, those people both clearly have different risk tolerances. And the same is true for trading, is your personal risk tolerance is gonna influence what kind of risk you're gonna take. And yeah, you determine the risk through all of this, but all of this gets out of, out of you know, off kilter when you're asking somebody else, is this a good buy? So at the core, it's different for everybody. I don't know if that's a good buy. Why don't I know if that's a good buy? Because at the core, the linchpin is, I don't know your personal risk tolerance. For some people, yeah, what I'm seeing, it might be the same as them. That is a good buy because we have the same exact risk tolerance profile. But the same exact risk tolerance profile, that's very hard to come by. And that's why you need to be able to think for yourself. You need to be able to do this entire process by yourself so that you can figure out if something is a good buy. Because when you do this the right way, you will know if something's a good buy. How? because you know, you're know you gonna know that the risk is worth the reward. How are you gonna know that the risk is worth the reward? Well, because you're gonna have the entire range of uh, you know, uh, parts of the plan that go into place. And when you have all, but, and you're gonna know that, well, I get all of this because I'm getting it and I'm using information. You're gonna also know that you're getting that information from technical analysis, which again, is going to work all the way back here. So it's a big loop here is you will know if something is a good buy, whoops, right there, not by asking me, but by asking yourself. And this is how you ask yourself. I get it, when you're new, it makes sense. Like I started off this video saying, to go and just ask somebody with more experience. But that person does not have this, right? They do not have the same risk tolerance profile as you. This is why hey, sign up for my stock picks services don't work. I'm not saying that the, the person that is offering those, I'm not saying that they don't have success, but that's them. You are not them. You don't have their same risk tolerance. So for all you know, they are taking crazy risks where if you try to take that and make those trades, you're gonna, oh, oh, oh. You're, you're gonna be freaking out because you're just not the same person as them. That's why you know stock picking services, any of that, it, it just doesn't work because everybody's a different person of risk tolerance. And I realize you may be thinking, Clay, I, I mean, this is kind of like a lot of stuff that I'm gonna have to use and learn and how to put in a place. It is, it is. Maybe not the greatest from a sales pitch perspective. I get it, but easy sales pitch is, hey, you just ask me if it's a good buy, I'll take care of the rest. Oh, okay, that's cool, sign me up. I mean, I get it, that's an easy sales pitch, but the, the fact of the matter, the truth of the matter is, this is how it works. It seems like a lot of work. It is a lot of work up front, up front, to go through these pieces so that you can answer the question, is this a good buy? You know, is this a good entry point? Yeah, it, it does take a lot, but I want you to go, like I said, going back to what's in the title of this, how to start trading. You start trading, you get started trading by focusing on this sequence from the very beginning. Don't go the pathway of learning the hard way that, oh, I probably shouldn't just be asking people, is this a good buy? Because they said it was, and somehow they made money on it, but I lost money on it. Well, that, that difference comes because of that personal risk tolerance. So yeah, getting started, just realize this. This is how you start. You start trading by focusing on this, by putting this into action. You don't start day trading by running around asking people, is this a good buy? Yeah, this takes effort. Yeah, this takes time. Yeah, this is not gonna happen overnight. But if you wanna have long lasting success, if you wanna make consistent money online, consistent money as a trader, then that's the sequence that you need to be able to put into place so that you can answer, like I said, this line right here. You can ask yourself the question, is this a good buy? And then answer it with confidence. 
So hopefully this helps. Hopefully this can kind of save you some headaches, especially for those of you that are beginners, which I'm assuming those are, are, are you who are watching this based on the title. Uh, but if you have any questions or anything like that, leave those comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Also check out the channel as a whole, lots of other different types of videos. And I hope that you decide to hit that subscribe button. So yeah, get out there and you gotta learn to think for yourself. I get it. Clay, what does think for yourself mean? This sequence is how you think for yourself. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.